Now if you're gonna reuse this pipe, try not to bend it too much. That's the hose completely removed from the vehicle and uh, we need 12 millimeter spanner here and there. I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do next so we can remove this caliper completely of the caliper carrier. You've got a, a bolt here on the top. Okay, that's one bolt out. So we removed one bolt from the top. We're gonna remove this bolt here on the bottom. So once you've done that, you can safely remove the brake caliper from the brake carrier. This is the brake caliper. This is the brake carrier, which is mounted to the hub. In order to remove the brake caliper carrier, you're gonna need 18 millimeter socket. Um, you have two bolts here. One bolt out. Second bolt out, and that's the caliper carrier off. Remove this screw here or a bolt. And let's break this out. Let's assemble the brakes. What do we have here? We have a brake disc. brake caliper with the rubber seals here for the caliper carrier. As you can see, one of these is uh, broken, it's perished. So we're going to replace this. Uh, it's created a uh, bolt frame, have included these in the kit. We're going to give this a good clean with brake cleaner because there's a little bit of oil on it. Um, I love the way these brakes are painted, so this is obviously not going to rust and it's going to look nice for a long time. This is our brake hose, which we will screw in here. Nice little cap. So let's just go ahead and do this now. I just noticed um, the blueprint calipers they're all certified and these are original genuine lucas uh, as you can see here Renault so these are genuine calipers if you're buying blueprint calipers that's the part number ADN 14891R this is for the left hand side obviously I'm going to tighten this pipe and the last bit here is the brake pads. Uh, this is the part number for the brake pads. They fit most um, traffic, Zivaros, Space, Primastar. So it's a variety of Renault, Vauxhall, and Nissan vehicles. This is uh, this is a full set. I've done off camera one side, and I'm going to assemble the other side now. So we have everything we need here. So we want to start with this. Pull this out. I'm going to put a little bit of grease on this. I want to clean it up very well first. That's the second one. I believe there was some grease somewhere. Oh, yes. The blueprint uh, people have obviously supplied us with everything we need, so we're going to have some grease as well to apply on these pins. So let's get started.
Okay, so we've placed Permatex on the seat of the brake pads. Just gonna spin this a little bit and clean up this copper grease or aluminium grease. In the next step, we're going to connect the brake hose to the brake pipe. So I just wanted to show you this is it all finished up here. So the caliper and the carrier are in place. The first thing we did was to install the brake disc. Uh, we installed this bolt here to hold it in place so all the bolt holes align whenever you're taking your wheels off and turning them. Uh, makes it very easy when uh, installing if you have this in place. Um, so then we install the brake carrier, caliper and then we connect it the brake holes to the brake pipe here. These are all uh, new copper pipes <clears throat> so this will last a lifetime from now on. So I don't ever want to come back and do this again. I hope you enjoy this. I hope you learn something from my video. If you do like it please hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're not a subscriber already. Um, all the best and I'll see you very soon again.